Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Today we're working on how to find a time elapsed. So let's get started. Let's say you get up 6.37 o'clock uh, a.m. or morning 6.37 a.m. in the morning and you need to take a bus that lasts you this long, two hours and 45 minutes, and what time are you going to be arriving there? Well, so let's do a simple addition. Okay, this one a lot of students does not have trouble. A lot of students don't have trouble. So you get eight uh, eight a.m. and eighty two minutes. Of course, we don't have eighty two minutes, so we need to figure out a way how to get the minutes down to smaller than fifty nine. Okay, so the way you do it is since incrementing in minutes is actually sixty increment. Okay, so it's not 199. So we're going to subtract this one. We have a 22, and this one incremented to 9 hours. Okay, so you're going to get there at 9 a.m., 22 minutes after 9 a.m. A little quick review. Once you get the minutes that's bigger than 60, take 60 away, increment to the hour. Okay, that gets to be the addition. Okay, this is how you find time if you know this is how much time you need and this is the starting time. Okay, now let's work backward and find time elapsed. Uh, I went online and found a really good worksheet. Uh, let's go up here a little bit so you can see it better. This is from a, a wonderful website I really enjoy. It's called a Dad's Worksheets.com. I like this worksheets over there. Um, you're more than welcome to get online and get more for yourself. Again, it's dadsworksheets.com. Okay, so let's take a look. So the first clock we have over there, it's almost 10 o'clock. The hands, it's almost uh, to 12, but not quite. Okay, so since it's not quite to the 10, it's got to be 9 something. Once we get the hour in there, and then it's 9 times 5, because the big hand is on 5, that's 9.45. Let's just pick it, it's a.m. Okay. Next one, this one is almost to 1, but not quite, so then that's 12. And it's at 5 times 10, so it's 50. Okay, so we're going to subtract this. This is 0, 5 minutes, and it's 3 hours. Okay, subtracting this and subtracting this. Now this one is fortunate in that 50 minutes covers 45, you don't have to borrow. Now later on we will have something that we need to borrow. So the first one is the elapsed time between here to here. It's 3 hours and 5 minutes. That's pretty easy. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, This one is past 10, but not quite 11, so it's 10. This is the starting. And then 7 times 5 is 35. Let's put an AM on it. Okay. And this one, let's take a look. It's past 12, but not quite 1. So we'll always pick the number that's smaller. Okay. And then 6 times 5 is 30. Uh huh. When we subtract over here, we don't have enough. Okay. So here's how we do subtraction when we're dealing with time. When we borrow one here, it does become 11. This one, however, does not become 130. It becomes actually 90 minutes. Okay, so increment is 60. So 90 minus 35, that gives us uh, 55 okay, minutes. And 11 minus 10, that's 1. So it's 1 hour 55 minutes. So from here to here, it's 1 hour 55 minutes. And let's go on to, to two more examples. Taking a look at this one, it's a little past 8, but not quite 9. So starting time is 8. And 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, so this is start. Okay, take a look at the ending time here. It's past 12, but not quite 1, so it's 12. 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, we're going to subtract over here again. In order to subtract, I'm going to make this one 11 and add 60 to this one. So I actually have 75. 75 minus 25, it's 50. Okay, so let's put a 50 over here. 11 minus 8, that's 3. So from here to here, it's 3 hours and 50 minutes. 
Okay, let's take a look at one more example. I'm running out of room here. Anyhow, all right, so starting time here, it's a little over 6, but not quite 7, so it's 6. 2 times 5 is 10, 6, 10. This is a start. This is my starting time. Here, I have past 10, but not quite 11, so it's 10. 5 times 5 is 25. Subtract here, 15, 4. Okay, so from here to here, it's 4 hours and 15 minutes. All right? Um, to summarize, the big thing is that when you increment in time, when you're doing the finding elapsed time, increment is 60. This is the big important part. So when you borrow, it's 60. When you uh, carry it over, it's also 60. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.